Viacom is in the business of entertaining people. Lately, though, its shareholders are anything but entertained. Sumner Redstone, the ailing media mogul who controls Viacom voting shares, and his daughter Sherry have been sparring with the people who run Viacom. It's become a bitter battle pitting the Redstones against CEO Philippe Dumas and a number of board members, some of the same folks who used to be part of the mogul's inner circle. A spectator can only presume that Sherry is seizing control of her 93-year-old dad's empire, pushing out anyone who stands in her way. The drama is weighing on Viacom's stock price, which had already taken a hit from a string of disappointing quarterly results. About $20 billion of shareholder value has vanished in just two years. But while this has been a corporate governance nightmare, it could end in a dream for shareholders. There have been reports that Sherry wants to recombine Viacom and CBS, the other media giant her father controls. He had split them up about a decade ago. Strategically and financially, it now makes sense to put them back together. Let me explain. Viacom's networks aren't quite as popular as they once were. MTV has lost nearly 300,000 viewers since a high in 2014, and it's a similar story for Comedy Central. The networks are struggling to remain relevant as the industry moves toward things like skinny bundle cable packages and on-demand television. Viacom's ratings and ad sales are in decline, and its stock has fallen behind competitors such as Time Warner and Fox. CBS, on the other hand, is doing pretty well. And Les Moonves, the head of CBS, is considered a genius by the industry. If anyone can turn around Viacom, it's probably him. A merger would re-strengthen the company's negotiating power against pay TV providers that recently underwent their own spate of mergers and are deciding which channels are crucial to viewers and which can be dropped from certain offerings. A deal would also simplify Sumner Redstone's empire before he passes, making the future a lot clearer for shareholders who have had to endure being left in the dark for months now.